Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video after making the last one saying, hey, I'm pretty sure it's coming up pretty soon. <laughs> we, the next day, they released it and said, hey, here's when the 17 million download campaign is uh, coming. So, yeah, I'm gonna talk about it, I'm gonna go over it, and I'm gonna say what's up about it. So, this is the big one everyone's been waiting for two years, because this is the one that has the free SSR ticket on it. It is the 17 million, or in Japan it was called 20 million. Here's what's in it. So, Musashi is the cover girl on it. Feel free to read this if you want. Gil is Osho here for some reason. This is the 17 million download campaign. Meet the conditions and claim one of the five SSR servants. So if you don't know, here's how you basically claim it is that um, there's a limited time mission for the 17 million, which is clear the first singularity. Once you clear it, you get a 17 million download celebration ticket, and then you can exchange it for one of the eligible five stars on it. It's not all of them, it's every unit that is on the banner but is not story locked. So not limited and story locked units aren't on it, um, and those are those are the SSRs you can pick. Um, from then on, you have a, an exchange period, which is on the 14th till the 30th of next month. So a long time. and. <clears throat> In order to actually exchange it, you need to have completed the first singularity, early in section one, and then you have to then. So even though you get them with the ticket, they're actually not permanently added until you do certain things. They're actually temporary. So the temporary status is from the 14th and from the day of its release until the sixth. Till uh, wow, way further. It's like two months ahead. It's in April, May, June, June 15th. That is when you have, so you have over at least two months to fulfill all these conditions, which are very easy, which is ascend to the five star. Um, you exchange for at least once, so you have to ascend it at least once, and then you have to reach bond level five. Very easy. Anyone can do it, especially if you're playing early on. It's really not that hard. If you already own the Ascended, then the copy will just be exchanged into a um, something too. Then you don't have to worry about this, basically, is what they're they're saying here. If you do not fulfill the requirements and permanently add the five SSR you exchanged, then you lose everything. You get nothing. <laughs> Good day, sir. So make sure to actually do it. I will continuously remind you if you somehow forget. So don't worry about it. <clears throat> so yeah, here's basically how they say right here. Form a hand since level 5. We got it. So. Uh, wow. The following are not... Was Odysseus? And... Oh, that's right. I guess they weren't on it. I forgot that they're... Uh, technically banned units that are always in the banner and they're not included in this. That's funny. Never really dawned on me until now. Well, they are new units, so I would feel bad for the people who pulled on them, so. <clears throat> so here are the selections. Uh, we have three Saber, uh, three Archer, three Lancer, three, four, four Rider, uh, one, two, three, five <laughs> Caster, two Assassin, three Berserker, one Ruler, and one Moon Cancer. You can choose any one of these 25 Servants. Uh, the best one is usually uh, Waver. Because Waver is just universally good on basically any team you can kind of put them in. So he's very easy to slot into anything. If you're someone who is potentially looking to form an arts team for Castoria and you don't want to necessarily pull Castoria, Tomo is your girl. And from that point on, it's literally who do you like best? <laughs> like, <laughs> I would say, and I've done a video, if you want a full like breakdown of how what I feel about most of these servants, and I will leave the video down below if you want to check it out. Because um, I did it a little bit early just to give time for people to make a decision, but in general Always pick the servant that you like the most technically saber is the best out of the sabers here but That doesn't mean that you shouldn't pick mo or you shouldn't pick Altera if you like them enough like mo has some fantastic outfits uh, one that we specifically just got from the APOC event and If you badly want to use it, then this is your best chance. You will never have a better chance except for when we get the other SSR ticket, which is coming later down the line as well. <clears throat> but, um, you should never let a moment like this waste, because you'll never know when they're going to show up. If you're a huge fan of Sherazade, I would suggest going for Sherazade, and if even, I say that even if you don't have Waver or Tom Mo, 
always pick the units you care about the most. That is my one advice, and I will always give it, because this is a game about characters, and you can always make do <laughs> with free-to-play units and a good friend, <laughs> is what I'll say. Um, that's it for that, so let's move on. Like I said, I have a deeper video on it if you want to check it out. A present of 30 quarts if we get 65,000 total Facebook reactions and shares and Twitter like retweets. We should be able to get this through the power of gas, 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 so they'll get on it. Part 3, 17 million downloads, campaign special login bonus plus special login bonus. What? That doesn't make any sense. Special consecutive login bonus, uh, plays of wisdom for silver fruit golden fruit 10 10 million qp hero crystal foe hero crystal foe all one is wait what is the difference here crystal foe one is hp one's attack i'm dumb and finally 10 uh summon tickets which is uh worth up to 11 c quartz which is always good special login bonus which is the other login bonus mana prism 200 hero uh, crystal foe Oh, Corona Foe. Oh, I forgot the other one's name. Uh, attack and HP. The four-star version, one of each, and a rare prism at the end. So, not bad. Part four, uh, two times EXP for five-star servants from exchange, limited time. Pretty self-explanatory. Pretty nice and should help you. It should be really easy for you to get these two. This lasts until the 15th of... Of, uh... Of, uh... April, May, June. So you got plenty of time to do it. Part 5, 17 million download missions added to the Master Mission Limited uh, Time. These are to get the special uh, command codes, which is increased crit strength by 20% only for the engraved Buster card, Blades of the Ninten Doraki, Doraku or something like that. Easy get. Complete all of the missions, you get 10 sync quartz. Clear any of the end of the missions 8 times and you get, the, you get this here. If you clear the first singularity, you get a special ticket. And then the rest, it's one quartz, three quartz, three quartz, three quartz, which I think would equal up to ten quartz. So in in total, you would get twenty quartz from doing all of this and a bunch of blazes of wisdoms. Pretty easy to complete as well. They're they're like self-explanatory. <laughs> uh, even down to just completing Olympus. So I think actually the completing Olympus one is the hardest one, but you shouldn't have to worry about it because you only really need to complete eight to get this. And you should be able to do that with like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like the the these bottom ones are just so easy. One, two, three, four, five. So basically five free one, six free ones, and then you just have to complete up to the six singularity and you're good. Easy. And you there there's eight right there, and you'll be able to get it. No problem. All days ember gathering and training grounds quest unlocked for a limited time. Here until 421. Mm, yep. Zero AP required for part one and part two main quests. One half AP cost for part one and part two free quests until uh, time it, for a limited time. I don't know why I said that's so weird. Command code inventory slot increased from 200 to 250, which is nice. Limited craft essence in the exchange mana prism, which is the free seating, increases the amount of QP obtained and also Mystic Code EXP. Uh, unlock, you can get Bella Lisa, which is the best way to get um, friend points. <laughs> you just put this on your friend, slap it on there, once it's max done, and it's, it's the best uh, CE for QP farming. Uh, of course, this is in the rare mana prism shop. So once you have to pay the one rare mana prism, and then you have to pay 5,000 <laughs> to get all five copies. So good to remember. This is for start dash, but this never matters to me, so I'm not going to go over it, so a vast majority wouldn't. Returning Master Consecutive, if you somehow decided to return now because of the free SSR ticket, you'd be getting some stuff. St. Quartz up to 30, Friend Points 14,000, Blaze of Wisdom 13, 16 is a weird number of these, but whatever, Golden Fruit 16. And yeah, that's it. And then the actual banner has these units on it, which is Musashi, Gil, Kintoki, Da Vinci, Gene Alter, Brunhilder, Ishtar, and Skithawk. Um, all fan favorite units. All a good reason to summon, though, if you are going specifically for Skithawk, as I was telling to a person in the comments last time, you might as well just wait for her when she gets her bunny outfit because she'll be featured and there will be event CEs and that's it's better to summon when there is event CEs because there's a chance of you getting event CEs and that makes grinding easier <laughs> as opposed to summoning on this where 
if you get nothing, you just get nothing. Because <laughs> all the 5 and 4 CDs are just the basic ones, you always see. So, it's not like kaleidoscopes on rate up or anything like that. But that is the basic celebration breakdown. Uh, we all know why everyone's here. It's for the free SSR ticket. But hopefully it will start on a week from now, depending on when you see the video. So, it's on the 14th. So, pretty nice. Can't wait. Oh, it's nice for it to finally be here. <laughs> very nice for it to be here. Uh, and that's it for the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching, especially if you watched it all. As always, feel free to leave a like if it ended up, if you ended up liking it or if you found it helpful in some way. Comment down below. Tell me what you feel in general. I don't know how you're feeling. Tell me how you feel. And subscribe to me if you want some more. I will be back in whatever capacity. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll think of something. Whatever. I have stuff planned. <laughs> Until next time, everyone. You have, guys have a good day. Have a good night. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.